What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Lotus Reacts. I'm Tamaj, and today I'm here with Fear the Walking Dead, Season 8, Episode 8, Iron Tiger. Uh, so Troy Otto is back. Madison is aware. He claims to have killed Alicia. Most of us don't believe it, but we also did find out that they killed Sarah, Wendell, Josiah, Rabbi, all of them off screen. So it's possible because the fear writers are just horrible. Um, but I would really at least hope they wouldn't do that to Alicia a day one, but you really never can tell with these writers. You, you just can't. Um, so I guess we're just gonna have to go along the journey and find out. But um, Strand or Anton, he his family was taken in by Madison and going to Padre. Troy wants to take over Padre and give it to his people. He's like, Madison, you destroyed my community, but um you're gonna grant me yours as basically repayment but my whole thing is too like madison and them have been taking a lot of accusations like from padre from troy like they just take whatever they say and go with it like when really most of the time madison and co are not really at fault for how certain things played out so like but they don't ever fight back or like rebuttal it they just accept that person's thinking and let everybody else who's listening just go along like that was the real story like it wasn't there was a lot um of layers to how you know the ranch fell back in season three but they didn't even try to refute it but maybe that just goes to show madison ain't about to argue with you but regardless uh everybody's together we're gonna have to fight this let's just see what they got y'all uh full and early reactions are available on patreon <laughs> Ooh, it was like an ocean side walker. <coughs> Look at three of our OGs on the mission. Did you ever see where the tankers came from? No. Check if the tanks are empty. Okay. We're wasting time. We should be taking the fight to Troy. Our fuel reserves are low. We need to find where Pilot got their supply. We can't have time to regroup. Madison. You're like, I know how to do away from me, too. I know what you're feeling. But first, we do what we need to do to protect the island. Then we make Troy wish he died back at the dam. Perhaps we continue this debate inside this iron establishment. She want to see if Alicia's in there. Whoever's here, show yourself. The hell is this place? Mm-hmm, but I like that they got supplies. So somebody's stash. What is it, Victor? Impossible. Relics of a bygone era. Oh, uh, something y'all left behind with me before. We got to put up them stashes to help folks. Are you sure this is where Padre was picking gasoline up from? Yeah. Just like the one we used to make. Who would want to resurrect that? Luciana? That ain't a leash. You look Madison. like a leash. Victor, she's missing her left arm. Madison, where do you go? There we go, no hesitation, that's what I like to see. That wasn't us. And who that was? Lucy! Luciana. Look at that. Madison, you died a long time ago. That's what we thought. We've been in a lot lately. Strand? Lucy. What are you doing here? Yeah. Is it true, the truth, right? Sí, Daniel. Tengo años buscándote. Encontrate. We'd love to see Lucy. Ooh, a Luciana episode. I've been waiting for this for years. Literally was wondering if she was ever going to do it. For me. My baby was alive this whole time. I didn't even try to look for her. We all thought she was gone. But I'm her mother. I should have never given up on her. I should have known. No one could have known. But one thing's for certain. The last thing Alicia would have wanted because she would die like that. What Troy said is true. She's still out there. I can't let her walk around like that forever. I need to put her to rest. I need to bury her. And you will. Because she's out there. We'll find her. I'm so glad these two are reunited, y'all. I'm sorry, Lucian. I didn't mean to trash your gas station. Daniel told me about Alicia. What Troy did to her. There's nothing to apologize for. It's good to see you. 
Oh. They go way back. So much has happened. Honestly. Your fresh supplies in the back if you need them. We'll see how it. Thank you. So you were making gasoline for party? When they brought me in seven years ago, they realized what I could do. They didn't give me a choice. They only got they threatened with the dirty people I care about. Who did they use against you? You. Me? I wasn't a party. Because I asked for your freedom in exchange for making gas. That's why they abandoned me in the swamp. If I hadn't, they would have killed you. They thought you were too old to be useful to them. Thank you for saving my life, Luciana. I thought you were on the island with the kidnapped children. The deal I made with Pater meant I have to work in the shadows. They had military oil reserves. They just needed someone to refine it. So they had been in the trenches for seven years. How do they they just do these cases case. any type of way. This is just an outpost. The refinery is miles from here. If Pater was getting the fuel I made, I had to make sure I was helping people. If you give us the fuel, Troy will not be a problem for us anymore. If we're going to defend ourselves, we're going to need more than what we have. You can have guys if you think it's going to help. As long as Troy doesn't figure out where he came from. We won't blow your cover. I'll send a tanker to the main road. You should wait for her there. You want us to leave? I need to keep my operations safe. There's a lot to talk about. I'm surprised you still want to be there. We haven't talked in seven years. Daniel, I need to protect the people that made this possible. If you're afraid that Troy's people followed us, don't be. I made sure they didn't. You don't know that. Iron Tiger. Who's Iron Tiger? You should leave now. What's going on? Who's out there? Just wait in the back. It's safer this way. Well, you think Troy's got to her? Troy's the one that kicked her off the ranch. Tried to turn Nick against her. She wouldn't lie to me. She wouldn't deal with Troy. She knew you were alive and didn't look for you. She's moved on, Daniel. If you think she had a choice between protecting us or protecting all of this, which one does she choose? Certainly not you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll show you both how mistaken you are. Oh. Wow. They think you're up to something, and I want to show them. Sorry about to step out that truck. You're making this harder than it has to be. No, you are. Who's in the truck? And what are you so worried about? Just show us what's inside. We'll be on our way. I can't. Why not? My son, please. Oh. Whoa! Is that really necessary? You're not gonna shoot me. Yes, Sam. Or not. Turn around. Slowly. Oh, Charlie. Madison. Charlie? You don't know where she be at. So she killed Nick. You're here. <laughs> You're still here. Uh, she was supposed to have been dead a long time ago. She dying off screen would have made sense, but everybody else had to die. June didn't have what she needed at the tower to treat the radiation poisoning, but um, Padre did. Why didn't they keep you on the island and raise you with the other kids? They didn't know if the treatment would work. If I died and turned on the island, they gave her to me. She helped me build this place. I don't get it. Why didn't you want us to see her? Because the stadium? You haven't told her. Told me what? I thought Charlie was dead. I didn't think it was a reason to. Reason to what? She got what a lot What the hell is going on? on? It's complicated. No. It's not. I shot Nick. I killed your son. What? I was scared. And Edis was dead and I, I pulled the trigger. I'm so sorry, Madison. I really am. No, I you, I'm rooting for Madison, just so we clear. Don't regret it. explain. No, get off me. Fuck that girl. There's nothing to explain. Get the hell away from me, both of you. Mm hmm. Cause she set up a lot of shit. She's the reason a lot of stuff happened, and she got all crazy. She should have died from that radiation poison. I know this is hitting her hard. She sacrificed herself and her kids just got done dirty. I mean, talk about grieving four seasons later. And then one of your enemies is toying with your child's life. Love. You knew 
right there? I thought she was dead. I didn't think it mattered. You didn't think it mattered that the girl I brought into the stadium killed my son? It wasn't your fault. You had no idea how this was going to play out. None of us did. I should have told you. I'm sorry. That's a good question. To hear, but we gave her the same thing that everyone else wants. A second chance. Even Alicia? Alicia was the first one to get it. Which was crazy as hell. That's when you knew the writing was crazy. We ain't finna shoot my sibling and get away with it. Nope. Yeah, I can do that. Well, and I don't blame time. you. They got a chance to fix their mistake. Because there ain't no reason Alicia should have forgave her, nor Luciana. They should have popped her off years ago. She ain't did this can show no practice? favors. I don't think this is a good time. No. Let her. <laughs> she said, I'm ready. I want to hear what she has to say. You like, keep your distance and I. I don't blame you for failing the way you do. I hated myself for a long time after what I did to Nick. And I don't expect you to forgive me or anything, but I honestly don't know if I'm ever going to see you again. So No, this is not. This is not for me. This is for you. So that you can feel better about what you did to Nick. I was 11 and I was scared, and I was being used by people who were older than me, and I just, look. I really am sorry that I took Nick from you. I'm so sorry I, I took him from the world. I really have tried to turn all that hurt and all the pain and, and turn it into something more. That's why I spend every single day doing what I'm doing. It's, it's what makes things like this possible. As bad as his death was, something good did come out of it. If there's anything I can do to help you see that good, just tell me. I'll do it. You snuck into the stadium. You fooled me. Sneaking at Troy's group? my son. Fooled Alicia, Victor, everyone. I need you to do the same with Troy Otto. You want me to find out what he's planning? Nope. <laughs> She's using her ass. <laughs> I want you to kill him. Ooh. Madison, don't do this to her. You took the stadium from me. You took my son from me. <laughs> this is the least you can do. Come on, then, Madison. Mm -hmm. Madison. Let's see how you if you can do the same thing to our enemies. All right, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, definition to keep that same energy. There you go. You agreed to do it for them strangers back then when you was 11, you could do it for Madison and redeem yourself. Oh, I'm so glad somebody finally addressing this the proper I way. I still think this is too dangerous. Damn that. And we all know what Troy is capable of. Let me do this for her. He won't even get close. close. He knows trade. us. He doesn't know her. He's not going to see it coming. Madison's right. You can't do this. And for years, I thought you and Luciana were dead. Now that I have found you, I don't want to risk losing either of you again. I know that, but you won't lose me, Daniel. Okay? Please don't make this any harder. So what's your plan? Exchange fuel. We'll be less suspicious if you get something out of the deal. And then what? I'm going to fix this for you. When I come back, none of you will have to worry about Troy Otto. I'm going to try to find out what happened to Alicia, too. No, you don't have to do that. You don't have to pretend like you care. She was my friend, too, Madison. She was the one that helped me see that I could start over. I know you don't believe me. I know, but I really am sorry about everything. I wish I could take back what I did to Nick. He was like a brother to me. Then you wouldn't have shot him. At all. Yeah, bullshit. I don't want to hear none of that. Go tell that shit to Troy Otto. Pack up your bullshit and get on gone. Either way that this works out, it's a win for me. The keys to the tanker. It's parked just down the road. There's enough gas to last you months. We love you, Lucy. Appreciate it. It's really the honor. Can I stay with you? At least until Charlie returns? I think it's best if you go back to Padre until then. There's a reason we stay hidden. To keep things like this from happening. Maybe you're right. 
Maybe we shouldn't have come here. Daniel, I wanted to look for you, but I needed to protect you, and I needed to protect everyone here. I know. I understand. I do. And I'm very proud of you. For that and for this. This whole operation. Not everyone could have done this, Luciana. Don't look at me like that. We're gonna win this fight, Victor. We're not gonna let that asshole take the island from us. What's the point of saving it for the turn to the opposite of the you want us to go? If Charlie meant what she said about Nick, she's gonna show us by taking care of Troy. Break on the base, break on the base. Over. This is my son. His ashes? We were clearing roads in North Texas. Charlie wanted to see where we buried Nick so she could tell him she was sorry. I didn't realize how much you missed him until I was standing over his grave again. So you dug him up? When Charlie heard why we buried him there, she said he deserved something better, and she was right. So we cremated what was left of him and brought him here. Where did you bury him? In a field in Hill Country. What was wrong with it? We only buried him there so we could get to a weapons cache. We were in a dark place, Madison. Did not mean anything to you? Charlie's right. He deserves better. That's what she wanted, and so did I. We just didn't know where. Charlie thought you would. Can you reach her? Iron Tiger, do you copy? Too late. I copy Polar Bear. Mm. Go for Iron Tiger. Charlie, come back. You were right about Nick. He does deserve better. If you brought him all the way back from Texas for me, then we should be there when we say goodbye. I can't come back, Madison. You can. You don't have to do what I ask you to do. You're just a kid. You don't have to make up for what you did to me. This is bold. No, I mean, I can't come back. Sorry to hear. Turn off the radio, step out of the truck. I told you before I got to the hotel, and they're not gonna let me leave. Okay. I sensed them out of the truck. I have gasoline. It's good. It still burns. We can make a deal. Why would I make a deal for something that I can just take? Take. Charlie, where are you? I repeat, where are you? And you gave her a cover up. Why would I trust anyone talking to Madison Clark? Come on, out of the truck. And we have a lot to talk about. Damn. Charlie, do you copy? Damn. You can't get away on a location. You should have never put that idea in her head. I was trying to do the right thing. You want to do the right thing now? Help me rescue her. That was right. We have to go and get her. You said if we got anywhere close to that hotel, we suffered major losses. We have to try. So well, damn everybody like else lied. Okay. Alright. Oh. I don't care what happens to Charlie, but don't kill nobody else in this episode. But dang, Madison shouldn't have um, gave up her cover. She would have had a chance. Seems like they should have just gave the episode to, to Charlie instead of Lucy. I don't see what we're doing for Luciana's character at the moment. She's still doing the same thing she's been doing with the oil. He's uh, a lot more scary when he's on his own. When he got his brother and family around. Mm. Wouldn't try and run though. Last person who tried that. He messed up their feet so bad they just made it half a mile before the dead found him. Oof, because they got glass all around. Why are you cutting their arms off? Well, he got past the plane somehow. You want Madison to think you're Alicia. Why did you kill her? I don't want to ask any questions. He didn't. I'm saying this sounds like I'm not the only person who killed Clark. Is what Madison said true? Yeah, he toyed with her, cutting off the left arm, so... Uh -huh. Did you kill Nick? Interesting. He's a friend of mine. I like a brother, actually. And we were better suited to this world than the last one. At least that's what I thought. That's what I heard would happen. So why is Madison trying to protect you? She's giving me a second chance. <laughs> yeah? You believe all that kumbaya bullshit? Because if you do, it's gonna get you killed. No one gave any of us a second chance. What do you want from me? I want to know where Padre is. Why do you care? I guess we need somewhere to set up shop. A place that people like Madison can't take from us. Some place you can take from Madison. Yeah. Oh, it's just, that's all it's about. The icing on the cake. Well, I don't know where Padre is. And I don't believe you. 
We paid gas for the settlement, but I've never been there. We've left tankers at drop. And I still don't believe you. And it doesn't change my answer. I guess we're gonna see how fast you can run the glass in your feet. Ah, shit. Ooh, this is like some soft shit. Wait. Yeah, I thought that might jog your memory. There's a map in the tanker truck. List all the drop sites. Maybe you can figure out what Padre is from them. Also send someone a check. Make sure she's telling the truth. Oh shit. Daniel's pissed. Nah, they blew up a tanker. Secure the compound. I want to know where everyone is. I want a head count. Right now. What the hell was that, huh? You got my timer? You wanted us to bring that tanker in, didn't you? You really think we'd be stupid enough to bring that thing in here? He's paranoid. Right, I want a status report. You could have been smart enough to put it on the time, I don't know. Do you know where it is or not? The hell was that? Okay, or Charlie did set it on a timer. What's it in the tank? We have to find a way to get in quiet. What the hell happened, Troy? What's going on? The tanker just exploded outside my hotel. I don't know what you're talking about. Charlie wanted to be captured. Must have been part of a plan. Mm. I know you sent Charlie here. Is she okay? She wasn't in the truck when it went sky high, if that's what you mean. No, I was wrong about you. If you'd ever be able to forgive the girl who killed Nick, maybe you just thought she would die in the blast. I guess we'll find out. Don't hurt her, Troy. We do care about her. I wonder what Nick would think about that. He'd get it. People change, Troy. You shouldn't think to come back to them. Well, I'm glad you think so. I'm glad she's so forgiving, because I'm not. Because you're going to have to do something that upset a lot of people if you want Charlie back alive. I want to know where Padre is. Oh, shit. He's going to hit us with everything he's got. She doesn't deserve this. You know that. Give him a fake location. Don't tell him, Madison. Shut up. Don't tell him I knew what I was doing. I'm going to strangle him with my bare hands. <laughs> Give him a check. Daniel is pissed. Give him a fake location. He don't got time right now to figure it out. Meet me in front of the hotel. And it should be attracting a horde, hopefully. There we go. Beautiful. Victor, it's missing an arm, too. Where the hell are they coming from? I don't know. I'm telling you, Troy is like taking a page from Jigsaw, just toying with people's minds. Hold it. A lot more of us inside. That would not be a trick, Madison. No trick, you have my word. I'm sure that's worth a hell of a lot. Where's Charlie? We need to make sure she's okay. I'll hand her over and we get the location. You hurt her. Let me guess, you'll take my other eye. I'm gonna make you wish I only took the other eye. You okay, Charlie? I'm fine. Don't make the trade for me. You're in there because I asked you to go. Hand her over, then we give you the location of Padre. No, we don't hand her over until you give us the location. How do I know you're going to hold up your end of the deal? Because one of your people is going to take my right hand man to the location. And if he verifies that you're not bullshitting us, then... We ain't got enough time in the episode for that. I really don't give a shit about the girl, Madison. I just want a safe place to live. No, you just want a place to take for Madison to throw in her face. Why do you care so much about Padre? Because you took everything from me. I'm just doing the same for you. Is this about Jeremiah? You think I give a shit about my old man? Then what the hell is it about? What did I take from you? Right. It doesn't matter. I'll manage this pocket. There must be another way to bring her back. There is. Tell me what it is. But there are other people to consider. Frank. Klaus. Right. I need your assurance that you won't hurt the people already living there. I'm not interested in the people. People will have ample time to leave. Okay. I'll drive. No weapons. Mm. Don't try anything funny. It's okay, Charlie. We're getting you out of there. 
Strand can take him with his bare hands. I got faith in him. Ooh, ooh! What was that? It's without one of his guys. I'll take him in there. You don't have to do this, Charlie. I don't want you to do this. I'm not gonna watch another place you built fall because of me. This is not on you. This is not the stadium. I'm the one who set you on this path. Why are you taking the fall for her? And it's how Nick's death can mean something. On the rafts when we left the tower, Victor told me that's what Alicia said to him when she thought she was dying. They can mean something. They won't kill me. If he shoots me, Troy doesn't get what he wants. She's right, Troy. She's your leverage. If you kill her, you will never find where Padre is. That doesn't mean he's gonna give her up either. Hey? Let her go. And you can have it. Excellent. Send your man to verify it. Don't give him the location. It's not your choice, Charlie. Yes, it is. You won't have to give him Padre if he doesn't have anything to trade. No! Charlie! No. No fear did not. They made Charlie pop herself off in the name of Nick and Alicia. Dead, wow. I'm gonna kill you for this. Let me go. This is really not how I wanted this to go, Madison, but I can't let you leave for that location. I'm gonna need that map. Can't do that. And you won't kill her either because Troy. you want to torment her. It's Tracy. She's missing. Who the hell is Tracy? What do you mean? Where did she go? There's kids in there? Why do you think we wanted Padre in the same reason as you? Where did she go? She wanted to see the tanker truck. She said she'd never seen a truck running before. Stay on them! Is Tracy his kid? Tracy! Tracy! A sudden turn of events. Tracy! I don't know, but they done took Charlie ass. I'm cool with it, y'all. I don't care. That was crazy. I didn't expect that, but it is what it is. Get his ass, Walker. Come on. What the hell are you doing? Madison. You're overwhelmed. I wasn't going to let another kid die after what just happened. Come on. We could have found a kid. Kill him. And this. The cat. She wasn't in the cat. Back, Troy. The dead are everywhere. Mm. You search the area. All of you. Protect the perimeter now. It's your kid. Why didn't you tell us what you wanted instead of trying to take it? So you just take the daughter from me, too? I didn't take anyone from you. Her mother's dead because of you. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have time for this thing. Search the area! So he's not completely fueled by revenge. That's somewhat of a heart neck. Eh? Who the hell is her mother? The one has been cutting her arms off. Yep. You're the one who's been making me think she's everywhere I look. Yes. Come on, because you should have been did this. Yes. Why did you kill her? Who do you think that took from you? The woman who rescued me from the dam. Ooh, please. I need to find my girl. No. No. You now you're going to know what it's like to be wondering where your kid is. Exactly. I'll still be alive. No, no come on. Stray, what are you doing? Y'all about to piss me off. His men came, I guess it worked out. But yeah, we ain't, why are we helping Troy? Fuck him. Exactly, let him know how you feel. Charlie Smalls is little fan base. She got to go be fuming after this episode. And the rest of us get some sort of sick sense of justice, revenge. It is what it is. Charlie should have been dead, to be honest. She should have never survived the radiation poisoning. But this one was kind of better. I'm glad she didn't outlive the series. I used to feel wisely, Madison. You won't be getting any more. Sian, who knows Charlie? I now Troy knows about my people. We're at risk. Why? Because I let myself get dragged into a fight that isn't mine. I'm not going to let anyone else end up like Charlie. Luciana, wait. I want to go with you. Daniel! No! Yeah, he, of course he was going to be You pissed. sent Charlie to a viper's nest. Charlie's the second time somebody dear to me dies 
because of you. Oh, now Madison. There won't be a third. We need you. You don't need me. You need the army I assembled. If you can convince the parents of the children you stole, then you change. I can no longer defend that idea. Te dije que éramos familia, ¿recuerdas? Permíteme venir con vos para cuidarte y ayudarte como lo he querido hacer por años. Sí, Daniel. What he said, it's not true. No, I don't care. Okay. Her feelings were justified. And then she did Charlie change in there make her pay for what she did to Nick. Doesn't matter, I changed my mind, she's dead. What do you think Troy was talking about? Why do you think he believes you killed the mother of his child? I don't know, but I can't go back to Padre with you. You need to find out what I can. Kendall's child. right. I can't ask anyone to follow me after what I just did. We're not building Padre for you. Right. We're building Padre for Alicia, for Nick, for Frank, and Klaus. For the kids. If I stay, it's not going to happen. You have to do it. You have to keep the promise you made to Alicia. I need you. I can't do this alone. Y'all do work better together. You're going to have to. Sanctuary. What is happening? Okay, I don't even know what that's about, but let's talk about this one. Hmm, Charlie finally bit the dust. Um, I don't know. She definitely should have died last year with the radiation poisoning, but they brought her back for this episode just to kill her. Am I mad? No. I, I'm actually okay that they did it because I did want to see Madison's reaction to her son being killed. And I think that's a really relevant story because she's, you know, grieving Alicia right now, but she never got to grieve Nick. She never even knew. So this whole season, part of the season is catching up Madison on current events, you know, and what everybody's been doing. And I think they're doing it in a pretty good way. Um, I don't, Blame Madison. No, she was enraged. She could have killed the, the girl herself, and she probably would have, but everybody was kind of stopping that. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to use this girl. She did what she did to me and infiltrated my community. Well, she can do that again for Troy. And you know what? She used her feelings against her, but you know what? I don't care because Charlie should never have been alive. I, it's just not believable to me that Luciana and Alicia allowed Charlie to live. It just never, they talk about, oh, we were in a dark place. We did that. Mm, you weren't that much of a dark place. If you forgave one of y'all group members killers, I mean, Alicia's brother, Luciana's boyfriend, like it, it was always an inconsistency in my mind that she lived. Like it just didn't make sense. Like I hate decisions that don't make sense. And that was one that never did. Um, so I'm glad she's gone because that inconsistency has been course corrected. Maybe years later, but four seasons later but she's gone and i'm satisfied um but for them to be i mean i can't get why daniel's mad at madison and lucy too they did care about her based off of how the story was written um but madison did change her mind i mean yeah it's too late and of course they're they're grieving still so they're gonna blame her but i mean it's not like y'all grabbed charlie and stopped her from going y'all watched her all walk into that truck and go away so she was grown. She made her decision. And it just is what it is. I mean, uh, but Troy, yeah, he, he's not really interested, it seems, in killing Madison at all. Just taking her place from her. He he revealed what's well, revealed that he has a daughter. It's revealed that Madison possibly killed the daughter's mom. We don't know what that's about. Um, but I do like, I think Strand and Madison in the the duo that is Lucy and Daniel were fantastic in this episode. And I loved it for that. It definitely should have been more of a Charlie episode than a Lucy episode. Like, I don't think we, and fear has never been good for writing for Lucy, but it, it didn't do anything for Luciana's character. They still got her out here chugging oil like she was doing in season five, season six. Like, can she do anything else? Like, oh my God. Like, they didn't do anything for her character. It should have just been a Charlie episode. Like, 
But anyway, Madison's probably gonna go out there in the horde and try to find Alicia. I don't think she'll ever find Alicia because Alicia's not there. Um, that's just a, a mind tactic that Troy is using against her, cutting off the arms. It's all a game. Um, Troy is sick, but he's not out for just, you know, straight up mur like murderous revenge. He's He just wants her to suffer the way he feels he suffered. Um, but yeah, her saving him, I don't like that because it's like, did we forget for a second, like he's out here possibly killing your daughter or at least using that against you. He, I don't know. He's not your friend, so I don't know why you saved him. You can go save that kid without saving him. Like, no. But then again, if he would have died, his group, and she couldn't have seen all this though, but his group members might have started firing on them and they could have died too. But so I guess it worked out the way it worked out, but I don't know about them saving him. Mm. Um, but it sucks to see everybody divide. This show is not good at having a sense of family. Like, as far as like a, a group, like, I think certain members consider other members of the group their real close, you know, family. But as far as like a collective family group, this is not it. This show does not have it. Like, you don't feel the love between Maddie and Lucy. I mean, not that they ever really built that. The relationship was based off of Nick. But it's not there. I don't really see Strand and Lucy having much of a bond. It was just kind of the Daniel Lucy, the Madison Strand. That stands out. But as far as them being a collective group, Strand and Daniel can't even stand each other. You know what I mean? So this is not a family unit. I mean, I guess that sets it apart. It makes it unique. But I think the reason we love the main show is the sense of family that you get, you know, even Daryl Dixon's show, the theme is family, the rock, sticking with Isabel and Sylvie, like those were his family. Um, and Daryl helping that family unit out, you know, you got um, World Beyond, the kids, they were like family to each other, or at least became that by the end of it. They stuck together, like the Walking Dead's theme is family, and this show does not meet that theme. But it sets it apart, for sure. But it just sucks because they have such a wide cast. And I think a lot of the reason this show fails is because they're not, they don't really mean that much to each other. It's like, it's like seeing an old friend. You know what I mean? Like the decisions they make, it's not for the collective group. It's for one individual person or, you know, Dwight and Sherry doing what they're doing for their child. And Lucy says she did what she did for Daniel and Strand just left and didn't want to be Strand at all. Um, he didn't really do it for anybody in particular. Like they just don't work as a group. And at points, it's been interesting because of the, the beef, you know, between group members. But this group, they as a whole fail because they just are not a cohesive unit. They just don't have it. Um, But that's all I got for this episode, y'all. Iron Tiger. See you later, Charlie. Next one looks like it's focusing on Dwight, Sherry, and June. Um, don't know what that's about. I saw the sanctuary, so maybe they dip and go back towards Virginia. So that might be their last episode because I didn't see no strand mass or nothing. So they might slowly start writing some of these characters out because especially if you're going to go into the future of The Walking Dead, you can't have all these loose characters because there's no way we can write for all these characters in the future. Um, because this show has the second biggest cast. So they just popped off Charlie, unfortunately killed Sarah and Wendell. Hopefully they can come back. If they ever do Tales or, or something, those would be the characters to bring back. Um, Sarah and Wendell, um, Rabbi, if you wanted to, but like they would have been good characters to do a Tales episode on, um, and give them a definitive ending, even if it showed them dying, that would be better. Like, don't just kill them off screen. Like, they get they dedicated years to this show, you know what I mean? And they became likable. Like, why would y'all kill them off? Like, I'm very annoyed about that. Um, But yeah, so we'll see what they do with Dwight, Sherry, and June next episode. Um, you guys, thank you guys for watching. And of course, I want to hear what you guys thought. So be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys for more Fear of the Walking Dead. Fear the Walking Dead. Not Fear of the Walking Dead.